What's up guys, it's early in the morning. Look at that, look at the sun, how it's shining on me. Uh, just dropped off Jacob at school. There's a Target right down the street from his school and I figured why not do a quick little toy hunt there. See if we find any cool pops, any chases or anything. Uh, they just opened a couple minutes ago and I'm, I'll probably be there like around 8.03 or 8.04. Uh, no, like 805 actually. So I figure let's do a quick little toy hunt at Target, see if there's anything cool there. I don't really, oh my God, I think I broke your guys' back. I don't really do a lot of toy hunts at this Target. I don't know, I don't know why, I just never really do. But they've done some rearranging here and uh, their stock, as far as like, their stuff has been pretty good as far as, you know, toys go. So let's go ahead and head on inside because I'm pretty much here. So here we are at the newly redecorated, or I should say refurbished, Target in Placentia. So we're gonna head down to the toy section and see what they got. And the first thing they got is this end cap right here with some Star Wars merch. Nothing really too crazy though. Uh, scanning through the aisles, look at that. That's on uh, the clearance section there. Hmm. The uh, Command Center. That's a pretty cool set though by Imaginex. Imaginex does make some pretty cool toys. Mainly for kids, but all toys are, right? We still collect them. Let's see what we got here. Little Porg, it, that looks like the, the the Funko Pop. So if you can't get the Funko Pop, get that one. The life-size one. All right, so here we are. We got some Legends. Now, this Target has some pretty good Legends. Uh, you only got some of the, uh, the Thanos Wave, some old Legends. Well, I don't know why they should be on clearance. Oh, they got the... They got some of the Deadpool Wave there. They got Domino. They had X-23. And they got that purple guy, Deathlock. 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 Some of the wrestlers right there. Nothing too crazy. It's always nice seeing Legends. What? $16.99? That's not it. I would have jumped on that if that was $16.99. Because I do want that Black Panther. But I'm waiting for it to go on clearance. This is new right here. The Jeep Wrangler. That's awesome. I love these new Jurassic Park toys because it has that old school feel to the uh, the original ones made in the 90s. They got this cool little display here of Avengers. Nothing too crazy though. A lot of those like larger scaled figures that are, you know, that are more, more so for kids and the like 3.75 inch scale figures. Here's the end capped here with some more Avengers goodness. A lot of Avengers stuff here. I'm trying to see if I find any, any chases here of Black Panther like I found at Best Buy. Here's another little hidden area right here where they had some legends too. All right, let's go to the pop section, see what they have here. Now they got a lot of pops here, but nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all. I still want to find that Thanos. I want to find him in store. I see him all over the place at Frankenstein's, but I don't want to pay the scalper price. So I just want to see if I can find him in store. But uh, yeah, this is uh, fully stocked. A lot, a lot of pops here. And then they, you know, they have a lot of Stranger Things pops and merchandise here, but they got this Target exclusive right here of the Dorbs. And then, oh, I plan on getting the Switch pretty soon. Plan on getting the Switch. Just looking at the games here, because as you guys know, I just picked up an Xbox One. The new Nintendo Labo. I actually got the Xbox One because a lot of people asked me why I picked it up, and I actually got it because Jacob wanted an Xbox One. So that's why I got the Xbox One. Look at these new decals here that they have of Super Mario, and they have some Zelda ones here too, which are pretty cool. Some of the other toys in the gaming section that they have. Pretty nice. And uh, I need this controller right here. I need this charger, I should say, to charge your controllers, the wireless controllers. Definitely want to pick that up. So I, I might get it on Amazon, though. I think it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, let's keep on scanning through. Go to the Star Wars section here. Some of the Black Series. I don't do a lot of Black Series, but ever since I picked up that Dubak Black Series, you know, I've, I've kind of been more interested in the Black Series figures on certain ones. Not all of them. Here's those smaller, uh, the 3.75 retro card ones, which are pretty cool. And then they got this really awesome Wampa right here with uh, the, the Hoth Luke. Look at that. You can remove the arm, too. That's cool. If anybody has that, let me know if that's worth picking up. Cause I actually might pick that up there. And then uh, they have the new Millennium Falcon Kessel Run, which has some electronics to it. Thank you. They also got this really cool um, Nerf blaster of Han. I can see somebody customizing that and making it look a lot cooler. Uh, this guy's still here on clearance, his two pack. 
and then some of the vintage figures that they tried to bring back. I don't know how those did. I wonder how well this 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 uh, all these retro things did. Look at these cool pajamas. These are really awesome. I want to get some of these for Jacob. I think these are really cool. Or if any of you guys kid, any have anybody out there have kids. Uh, all right, so we're getting out of this Target, and we're going to head over to another... I just went through the wrong door. We're going to head out to another Target, and the next clip you're going to see is me at another Target in Orange, in the city of Orange, and uh, let's clip... This is it right here. This is it. Some of the 30% off. They have the Sabertooth Tiger there. I don't I don't think that's on, that's on clearance. I should have checked the price, though. But uh, you can see right there the clearance sign, some of the goodies on there on the end cap. Uh, we're in the wrestling section. And then we're in the Marvel Legends section here. They got a they got a um, Iron Spider. Whoa! Oof. Oh no! Let's tuck that sucker there. Uh, they got some. They got Captain America. They got Iron Man. Another Iron Man. And that Serpent guy. Some other legends here. A lot of the targets seem to carry a lot of the same legends. I've noticed. Taskmaster. That guy was hard to pick up at one point. And uh, let's see, they got that purple guy there from the Deadpool wave, forget his name. And then Logan, I haven't seen this Wolverine in a long time. And then um, they got uh, the Thanos wave there. So pretty cool, nice little selection of legends. Oh, there's the Jeep. That's a cool Jeep. I, I definitely want to pick that up for my Alan Grant figure. Some more Jurassic Park goodness all over the place here. It's, it's pretty much clear though. I've noticed that a lot of people are picking them up. Oh, look at all these uh, legacy figures. Now that Hasbro got the license, I'm interested to see where they take the uh, the legacy line. Look at this. All Green Rangers and Red Rangers. Is the pink one hard to get? Is 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 it like one per case? Because I, I have not seen a pink ranger in a long time. There's a pink ranger right there, but not from the flip head. So there's some more of the legacy figures. Look at all these freaking Luke Skywalkers there. Those centerpiece. Black Series, we got Han Solo. Look at all these. Phasma. Imperial Guard. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, let's go check out the pops, see what they got here. Oh, look at these keychains. Like that Sonic one there. Oh, Pennywise. That's from Hello Neighbor. And then here's all the pop section. Look at all that. Look at all this goodness. Look at, when I saw this right there, I was like, what, is this a chase? But no, it's not the wheel chase. The 8-bit uh, Target exclusive. There is a wheel chase to it from the upside down, but um, I do plan on picking this up, just gonna pick it up today. Here's an end cap right here of some more Avengers Infinity War. And then uh, right beside it, they had some legends there too. So just make sure you guys look all over to see if you guys are, you know, if you guys are still on the hunt for legends, just check all over the place because they have a lot hidden. Ah, there's the uh, two-pack of Imagine X with Scorpina and uh, King Sphinx, one of my favorite villains from the uh, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It looks like they got some Jurassic World stuff, too. These are pretty cool. This one was pretty cool because it had the Jurassic Park gates right there, but I could not figure out what it does. It says try me. I kept on pushing all the buttons and everything, but I, I couldn't figure out what this this little playset does. But still cool just to pick up for that Jurassic Park gate. And then they have this right here where they have, uh, it looks like it's blue in there, the Velociraptor that's inside the uh, the hauler. Really awesome. But yeah, I'm still trying to, I was still trying to figure this out right here. Couldn't figure it out at all. <laughs> and they have these cool little uh, vehicles right here of the original. Well, not, I don't know if they're all from the original, but that's it, guys. It's time to head out. Head, uh, whoa. There's a Starbucks over there. Yeah, but thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video, yeah, thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Make sure you guys hit that bell at the top because you guys won't be notified of my videos because of YouTube. But yeah, so <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. If you guys saw anything in the video you guys liked, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, again, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Peace.